to the fourth episode of Somo TV. I am Allison Diagostino and Arthur Murphy. With us is Brandon Schottsick in charge of the Athlete Leadership Program of Somo TV. Thanks for having me. Okay, what is Athlete Leadership Program? So the Athlete Leadership Program is a new program here in Missouri. Uh, other states do it and they've done it for quite a long time, including Indiana and Florida. Um, but have you guys done, are you guys trained Global Messengers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Global Messenger is just kind of like one part of Athlete Leadership Program. So Athlete Leadership Program is like an umbrella and Global Messenger is just one section underneath that umbrella. So Athlete Leadership Program is essentially just, it gives athletes or athlete leaders the opportunity to become leaders in their community. They can take classes on um, public speaking like Global Messenger. Um, they can teach you how to become board members, um, anything from PowerPoint to being on this TV show. Any, any way that we can kind of give you training to become leaders in your own community, that's, that's the purpose of the Athlete Leadership Program. Yeah, and that actually uh, got me, remi reminded me of something like those classes, they're part of something called the Course Tree. So yeah, the, the course tree is within what we're calling our Alps University or Alps U. Um, and essentially what it is, is it's a two day, twice a year conference where we're gonna invite athlete leaders and mentors to come and basically it's like college for our athletes. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna pick their major and it could be, like I said, communications with Global Messenger, governance with boards and committees, technology, leadership for life, a lot of different options. Um, all to give you uh, choices, basically, and, and yeah. to make you guys leaders off the field of competition, because um, you guys are already, you know, leaders on it. Mm -hmm. And what, what about the fundraising? So right now, the, there is a cost associated with out, attending Alps University. It's going to be $20 for an athlete and $20 for a mentor, so $40 total. Uh, and then you are on your own for hotel rooms as well. Um, we, we hope to get to the point where we can offer um, some kind of scholarships for athletes, uh, but for this year, uh, there is some cost associated with it because we just haven't done it before. And Plus, that, that shows you and the mentors and your family and caretakers that there is a buy-in with this and that you know, it needs to be taken seriously and appreciated for, for what it is. Yeah. And now that you mentioned mentors, like, do the athletes have to have a mentor or? Mm -hmm. So just like with Global Messenger, uh, you have a mentor who's, um, who can't be a family member. It's usually a coach um, or just a volunteer that helps you throughout the process. They don't speak for you, but they speak with you if you want their help. Mm -hmm. uh, mentors are an important process of this, and every athlete does, does need a mentor. Okay. Yep. I was just wondering because like the one time I went to the Global Messengers meeting, I didn't have one. So yeah, then we're we're gonna make sure that every athlete has a mentor this time around. All so right. if you can't find one as an athlete and you're interested, still let us know. Uh, we can we can try and and try and help you out there. So right. the first one, the first one, Alps University is actually scheduled for November seventh through the eighth at the Alpha Academy in Warrenton. Uh -huh. um, so. Our sign-ups are, are ongoing. You can sign up on our website, somo.org slash alps. So if you're interested, um, just sign up and, and we'll be in contact. All right. Okay. And what is the intangible, intangible uh, of Alp University? Initiatives. So the different, the different majors that we offer? Yeah. So we have communications, governance, and technology. That's all we're offering for this first, for this first go around. Um, but we do want to get to the point where we can offer a lot of different majors, such as technology or such as um, coaching, to where you guys can become coaches and officials. Mm -hmm. um, leadership for life, where we can teach you how to take care of your own finances and also um, a youth activation course where we can pair you with um, one of our great volunteer bases in the Missouri Association of Student Councils across the state, so. Ah. That's pretty good. Yep. Um, and is there a way for people to sign up to be like teachers or instructors? 
Yeah, so right now instructors are always going to be people who are um, volunteering for us, coaches. Okay. Um, I'm going to be instructor, staff member, stuff like that. Cool. So cool. Uh, if you're interested, just log on to somo.org slash alps and you can find a way to get in contact with me. And uh, whether you're an athlete, a mentor, or somebody who wants to teach a course, we can always, we can always use the help. And where did you get the idea from? Uh, well, like I said, SOI, Special Olympics International, has, has been putting this on before Indiana. Allison and I actually traveled to Indiana in March, yeah, and we saw that uh, they have an awesome Alps University. And uh, we've been working for the past eight months. Um, I can't do math. It hasn't been eight months. But we've been working for a long time on what our Alps University would look like, and we're, we're ready to get going. Okay. And how often does the university give classes? Uh, we're going to do it twice a year, so probably in the spring and in the fall. Okay. That's our hope, at least. That's pretty good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That's it. Thank you, Brandon, for taking the time with us. For SOMO TV, this is Arthur Murphy and Allison saying goodbye and have a great day. Having a lot of fun with my teammates and coaches, and right. I've had a lot of fun playing tennis, having a really good competition, and um, been just doing a lot of other fun things like we went on a boat ride and all that. What does it mean to win the silver medal? Bobby? It means a lot, maybe better than I thought I'd do. I mean, I figured, you know, who knows, I, I thought I could maybe get fourth, but I might have, you know, getting two notches higher, so I'll take that.
a team. We've made it this far as a team. We're going to go all the way as a team, okay? okay. Unity and heart. Let's go. One, two, three. USA! a journey for us starting in last year approximately um, putting a team together to see what um, we could have and uh, uh, for a whole year practicing see what the boys improve um, how they came together as a group and as a team just the friendships that we've met through all around the world and things that we may never get to do as a group and as a team um, the outcome wasn't what we always wanted is our our dream and go goal was to be first um, Second's not bad. Um, we played strong all throughout the week. Um, the ball just didn't bounce our way um, today, but um, what a great experience has been for all. It was ecstatic, just once in a lifetime opportunities I'll never get to do again. Uh, experience this, um, get experience with my brother and close friends and I'm seeing the cool things and getting to hang with my coach here. <laughs> And what was it like? What was that moment like when they put that silver medal around your neck? What were you it's, thinking? It's an honor. It's you know, it's I honor my country, and even though I got second, it's still an honor, and I hopefully I made my coach proud. Go for the gold! Go for the gold! Go for the gold! for the Train for Life campus so I can call up my home so my other athletes and I can have somewhere to uh, practice, train for our sports. I am ready for the Training for Life campus, my friends and training. <laughs> 
I am so excited about opportunities or I go to wear hats. What is your favorite thing about Special Olympics? Special Olympics it teach me how to learn every day and learn how we do every day, how to exercise what we have to do. And uh, making new friends and having a great time. Getting the medals and ribbons, of course. My favorite thing about Special Olympics is make new, make new friends, but also competing. And what's your favorite sport to play? My favorite sport is bocce. Well, I can only do one right now, it's golf, but uh, I like so many other sports, and my favorite sport would probably be floor hockey or tennis. I also like tennis. Softball and baseball. All the ties that bind the athletes and fans. The lessons that they teach us, yeah, they come so naturally. That belonging makes a difference in God's community. So remember. Get so much more at the past gate found at heaven's door. So when we've reached eternity, just take a look around at all the hearts that. so naturally that belonging makes a difference in God's community so remember when we give we get so the train for life campus will be promising for a future for years to come train for life campus promise for the future Welcome back. I'm Terry Hilt. I'm a coach, a volunteer, and a sister. This is our new segment called What's Happening in SOMO, the Athlete's Perspective. Hey guys. Hey. 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 What you been doing this summer? Arthur? Oh, oh recently I just went to World Games down in uh, UCLA. You and Alan went to that, yeah, didn't you? Yes, yeah, did. we had yes, a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. What'd you do? Uh, we played softball at a softball tournament with uh, each country. And what place did you get? I was at second place. Awesome. Good job. Round of applause. Allison, what you got going? Uh, not much, really. I've been uh, just writing a lot. And um, I'm actually trying to sort things out with my apartment because like, the place I live in where the entire building is getting uh -huh. renovated. You're writing. What kind of writing do you do? Uh, mainstream, which is like more than one genre. Uh, I base most of my books are like mystery slash uh, fantasy or romance. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, Larry, aka Elvis. What you got going? <laughs> <laughs> I know you got a birthday coming up. Yeah, I got a birthday coming up on September twenty seventh. I'll be thirty eight. What'd you do over the summer? Anything fun? Um. Kind of here, but I'm, I'm thinking about it. Over the years, I've been, I've been doing like. Uh, You've been doing a lot of walking with Susan Schaefer and stuff. Yeah, that kind of wore me out. That kind of wore you out? All right. Moving on. Has anybody heard about the TLC campus, yeah. the Training for Light uh, campus? I have. Yeah, yeah, I have heard about that. Oh, yes. my goodness. Oh. I'm part of, uh, most, all of us, I believe, here at the table are part of what is 
the athletes uh, fundraising program uh -huh. to support the TLC, which is Training Life for Training for Life Campus. Yeah, that's right. It's called uh -huh. Class for 2015. Uh huh. And Class for 2015 is athletes raising money to help uh, with a fund of building. Okay. Hey, did we? I heard we had a huge donation recently. Do you know yeah. how much that was, Larry? Um, I haven't heard about the total yet, but I hear we made a pretty good budget. Yep. We're at 70% of our goal. Yeah. All our money's supposed to be raised by 2016. You think we can make it? Oh, yeah. yeah. You think you can? Yeah. Okay. Knights of Columbus has promised a million dollars. Oh, my goodness. That's wow. Cool. I agree with you there. That's a lot of money. Well, when do you think the campus will be finished and ready for us to start training? About 2018. Yep. 2018. Yep. Looking doing, forward to that. They're doing yes. groundbreaking in 2016. Yes. Not only, no, groundbreaking 2017. 17. Not only will it be for uh, our sports training, but we will also have the healthy athletes there for healthy smile, healthy eyes, healthy feet. That's going to be part of the Training and for Life campus? Yes, they're going to cool. have that there too. What fundraisers are coming up? I hear Over the Edge is coming up. I did it a few years ago, and I hear somebody at this table is going to do Over the Edge. I am. Uh, I'm. My part was actually uh, paid for so that I could actually uh, be a part of it, and uh, it's really cool because like, I actually got to interview with um, Bill Pollock, mm -hmm. who's, who's like cool. a sports announcer for Missouri, and that's really cool. Are you so. afraid of heights? Um, I'm, I'm afraid of falling, but I'm hoping this will help me overcome it at least a little bit. Sudden stop, huh? <laughs> Anybody yeah. else done Over the Edge or no, thinking no, about it? No? I haven't yeah. done Over the Edge, but I have done one other fundraiser a couple of times. What'd you do? Polar Bear Plunge. Oh my goodness. Plunge. I've done that once. I've done it twice. We've done that before. Yep, Larry and I have done it every year in Columbia. At Bass Pro, because they do a fundraiser for Bass Pro every uh -huh. year. I remember the year that I did it. They actually had to chip off the ice. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> the first Are, time have you I ever did done it? it? Mm -hmm. No? The first time I did it, they had to actually cut the ice. Wow. It's time for me to wrap up. Thank you, Alan, Larry, Arthur, and Allison. And that's what's happening in Somo. Eyes is a, a uh, extended vision screening for our athletes. Um, we do a lot of uh, a battery of tests that would uh, certainly encompass be encompassed in, a, in an eye exam. Um, we make sure they know it doesn't take the place of a full eye exam, but we're here to take care of them and give them glasses. Many of the athletes have glasses that are in bad shape because they're active and they're very you know, hard on them. And we also provide them with sports glasses for the, the athletes that are involved in basketball and volleyball so that they don't get hit in the face with their regular glasses on. They start out with visual acuity, so it gives us an idea of how well they see both at far away and up close. And we test their uh, depth perception and their color vision. We also test, we take a look at their internal and external um, eye health. Um, and then we do some tests to see whether or not they need a change in prescription. We do what we refract the patient, which is you know your basic eye test, which is better one or two. And then we come up with a final prescription for their uh, lenses. A lot of the athletes are um, Medicaid for their health health insurance, and Medicaid only allows uh, eyeglasses every two years, and they're hard on them. So sometimes we just need to be there and, and provide them with uh, you know an extra pair of glasses. There is no shortage of gratitude and hugs from the athletes. And I always tell the story of Christina. We made, she was a swimmer, and we made her a pair of sport, uh, swim goggles, which we don't normally do, but we did. And she was so happy because she could finally see the black lines on the bottom of the pool. So, you know, her, her visual disabilities were great, but that meant so much to her because she could swim better. So that's our success story. 
Welcome back. I'm Wayne Stevens. This is my friend Alan Tobin. With us today is Susan Schaefer, who is the teammate of mine of the, of the High Rollers and the Sunny Mixers bowling team. Welcome, Susan. Welcome. Thanks for having me back. Where are the, Elster, uh, where are, where are the state outdoor games going to be held? And uh, right in Jeff City, Missouri. Back where we were last year, we're excited to be once again back in Jeff City. What sports are going to be played and what are the venues? Uh, we have, of course we have golf and golf will be held in two locations this year. We'll be at Turkey Creek with our individual skills yep. and um, our nine hole alternate shot, nine hole individual, 18 hole will be at Railwood Golf Course. And then Bocce's at a new venue this year. It'll be out to Blair Oaks uh, High School. And mm -hmm. then tennis will be at Washington Park. So a couple new there. And then softball will be back out at Binder Park. Um, and flag football, new location, will be at uh, Thomas Jefferson with um, kind of a new tour schedule. It'll be played in mm -hmm. late afternoon and evening. What is different about outdoor games? Of course, well, I said about the football, but we've made some changes into our schedule and mm -hmm. then some new locations about playing with, of course, we wanted to beef up our teams coming um, for mm -hmm. flag football. So we are going to offer that hopefully during the evening to people mm -hmm. to come out and watch. Um, Victory Village, this year we're going to have it um, a little earlier and it's going to be outside. Um, we hope the weather will be good. Um, some exciting things going to take place there. Mm -hmm. Dinner and dance and healthy athletes will be inside of Thomas Jefferson um, Middle School. So some exciting new venues. Um, Blair Oaks, um, the whole school is going to come out and support us there. So that's cool. Uh, that's that's going to be cool. excited um, to see that take place. Will there be ice cream? Oh, Alan, uh, it's your favorite thing. There will be uh -huh. Central Dairy Ice Cream on Saturday night supper. Cool, can't wait. Will there be an athlete input council? Um, yeah, there'll be athlete input council as an opportunity, Larry, for you and Alan and the other athletes to um, tell us what they like and dislike about our state events. And we're excited to mm -hmm. be able to offer this the second time to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, will their governor be there? Alan, I don't know if the governor will be there. We always invite the governor to all of our events. Um, he is a busy man taking care of Missouri, um, but uh, you never know where he's going to show up. Or How many athletes are going to be there? Um, 962 athletes will compete in all those sports. Um, exciting to know this year we have 50 softball teams coming into Jeff City. So um, what is an opportunity to have that many come in and 462 bocce players. So. Wow. Um, wow, so that's a number. Lot. It is a lot. It's a lot of people coming out to do these state games. That is correct. It takes a lot of volunteers, and um, that's what's rolling in now is the volunteers to help us take care of the games. Mm -hmm. and thank you, Susan. And I am Alan Tobin with Larry Stevens. Until next time. Thank you, Larry. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're out, dudes.